Alright, as always, this is like the 10th time making this video, and I really need to hurry because i got to finish some work stuff, and I need to get to some family stuff. Um, as I have stated, hopefully by this time, you will see this video. As I stated in the uh, thread, mm, there's been a lot of attention on the whole flyback thing. And something in my gut tells me that it's worth a study because it's going to lead to what really should be focused on because I don't think it's necessarily the flyback. Uh, so anyway, as I was digging around on the forum, reading some stuff, and I found a thread called Malnichenko's Effect uh, by Chris says Yagu, or Jigao, he says Jigao. And for some reason I always want to say Yagu, I don't know. Uh, anyway, but this individual did a lot of heavy lifting in this uh, idea of Malnichenko's replications. So a big thank you for that. There's a lot of information on that thread. I'll give a link. Um, first experiment, I guess. Uh, maybe it was even one of the first ones that Malinchenko wanted people to mess around with. Uh, of course, is flyback. However, he himself said that flyback's not necessarily where the focus should be. Uh, that a normal flyback is not over unity, and he wanted to put emphasis on a the calculated gap, a well calculated gap, uh, for what he called field separation. So, using the E core, this was put together. This is a, a picture of the Malantigo experiment and a list of what's going on uh, that Jigao had put up. So, thanks again. Uh, everything from here to the left is all the switching, basically. They use a power transistor in the original experiment, but I got a MOSFET today. Uh, and then we see L1, we see a light bulb and a diode. The diode is set up in the polarity to where it is only on when the MOSFET is off. The MOSFET turns off, voltage polarity of L1 flip-flops, diode is forward biased, light comes on. L2, um, same, diode is only forward biased, light only comes on when the MOSFET is off. So, what do we got going on here? Right now I'm switching at 200 hertz, and I'm at 7% duty cycle. Uh, we've got my positive, I'm high side switching into L1, which is 65 turns. And it comes out, hits the light bulb, current sensing resistor. I got my diode hidden under there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, L2, which is 150 turns, comes out, light bulb, current sensing resistor, diode. So, let's see, 15 volts, something around 800 milliamps, I think. I'm not sure. We'll look at the scope here in a sec. Let me see if I can move this without screwing everything up. that is clear. Uh, first thing I wanted to point out is we do have power coming back both on the yellow which is the voltage and the purple which is the current. So we do have power going back. We'll turn on the math. Get a couple cycles in there and we'll see a mean reading using mean because we get power going back. 870, 75 milliwatts. So, remember that number, and let's move this back, okay, now just the, the power supply, the, the DC power supply there is not accurate, it's 15 volts. Uh, 98 milliamps, but what I want to show is that if I remove the, bu the bulb, the load on L2, L1 gets a little brighter, but the, still 98 milliamps on the input. Input does not change. And same if I disconnect that, input goes up maybe 1 milliamp or something, but really no change. L2 got a little bit brighter. So it's complete disconnect from the input. Input is only to magnetize the core. 
output is on the demagnetization phase. Uh, what did I want to show next? I guess we can show the output on L2. Let me switch these around. Okay, so now we're just measuring L2. Put this back on scope. And I'll bring that up a bit. So now we're not seeing a traditional sawtooth as you would expect with a flyback or a buck boost. Uh, because I think of the core separation. However, if you can see, we're using RMS on the output. Uh, it says 1.42 watts. So that's almost twice as much as it's using to magnetize the core. And currently we're only looking at L2. The bulb on L1 is just as bright, if not a little bit brighter, so we could assume the same. And even if this was some kind of measurement error, uh, I would expect that brightness of that bulb. It's a 12 volt bulb, 300 milliamp, I believe. Mm, I think it was a 3 watt bulb. I forget. Anyways, for that brightness, I would expect about 1 watt, one somewhere between 1 and 1.5 watts. So even low balling it, uh, both bulbs together is 2 watts, and the input is is it 875 milliwatts. So. Uh, what else? I want to show when I the gap I have actually is 1.5 millimeters. It was just an old uh, fly swatter I cut pieces out of. Let's go ahead and pull that. So now there's no gap. This is more of a traditional flyback, I guess. So now we see that the... So we see that the bulb on L1 is pretty much gone. There's really nothing on there. The bulb on L2 is pretty much gone too. It's got a little bit of light. It's showing 70 milliwatts. So... I don't know, one twentieth of the power is coming out, and L1 is almost completely dead. Uh, if we look at the scope, we, we start to see the sawtooth now, but like uh, this field effect thing that we're seeing uh, is definitely gone, so that gap is necessary. And I've tried larger gaps, 1.5 seems to be about the sweet spot, I guess. You want to call it sweet spot. So 1.5 seems to be just about right. Uh, I don't know. What else? I completely forget, and I'm running out of time. So what am I going to do next? I don't know. But I do have this. Uh, inner coil and an outer coil. Inner coil is, what was it, 150 turns? Outer coil, I was trying to match inductance, 110 turns, I think it was, on the outer coil. Uh, so I'm going to mess around with putting this on L2 and see what we can figure out there. And I guess after that, after I'm done exhausting this e -core investigation, um, there was also, I need to get the parts for this still, but there was also, Jigal had uh, replicated this uh, the iron core with a coil on it, and then on the outside of that there was an air core. Uh, another one of Melnichenko's um, videos where he shows that. Lots of study on that. So anyway, that's where I'm at, that's what I'm doing. Um, have I forgot anything? I don't know. I can't remember. No change in the input. 
fantastic. All right, see you next experiment.